The Ghana Cocoa Board is official agency with a mandate to oversee the production, internal marketing and export of cocoa produced in Ghana. The board has been doing this efficiently since 1947, pre-independence, when it was called the Cocoa Marketing Board. It was renamed after independence to Ghana Cocoa Board. Today, cocoa is the second highest foreign exchange earner for Ghana. Cocoa Board, aside its mandate on cocoa, has remit over the production and sale of coffee and share. In Ghana, the share market has over the past years been unregulated, with pickers, mostly women, being offered low prices for their produce. Cocoa Board, in response to see to the well-being of the share pickers, held the first stakeholders meeting for workers in the share industry in the Upper West region to discuss structures to ensure that the industry is regulated and the pickers are offered good prices for their produce. Back to the cocoa industry in Ghana, the Ghana Cocoa Board has worked hard with the cocoa farmers to ensure that Ghana continue to enjoy its position as the world's number one producer of premium quality cocoa and also to improve on its current position as second highest producer of cocoa in the world. To ensure a consistent and reliable production, Ghana Cocoa Board has a research arm called the Cocoa Research Institute Ghana. Craig's mandate is to reset into high yielding pest resistant hybrids with short gestation periods. The research center also researches into other bioproducts that can be developed from the cocoa beans. The research center has to date developed a new high yielding cocoa hybrid which is being introduced countrywide in Ghana. Ghana Cocoa Board runs training programs for farmers in the form of mini divers to educate them on good farming practices and international conventions as well as the eradication of pests from their farms. The staff at Cocoa Board regularly hold joint training programs with their international counterparts and regulatory bodies such as the Federation of Cocoa Commerce to ensure that Ghana abides by international standards. Cocoa Board, through the experienced field staff, have given farmers practical training on their farms to guarantee quality processes are put in place from the seedling through to harvesting, from drying of cocoa beans to bagging ready to be sold to the buying agents. From the farms, the beans are bagged and transported to the warehouse in Kase Kumasi, Tema Port or Takradi Port. At the port, the quality control section of the Ghana Cocoa Board undertakes further quality checks to ensure the beans are of premium quality before shipping. In all these processes, Ghana Cocoa Board ensures that no child labor is used. To make certain of this, Cocoa Board has set up a child labor desk at its headquarters in Accra. Cocoa Board scholarship arm also ensures that the wards of farmers are awarded scholarship to go to school. Ghana Cocoa Board as part of its remit to ensure that a percentage of the cocoa produced in Ghana is processed into both intermediary and finished products. As such, Ghana Cocoa Board has interest in the cocoa processing company located in the township of Tema and the West African mills located in the port city of Takarade. CPC produces finished and intermediary products and bears the brand name Port Tem, whilst Wamco on the other hand produces only intermediary products under the brand name Taxi and Wam. Looking to the future, Ghana Cocoa Board aims to increase its productivity so that a yield per hectare will be comparable with those achieved in the competing countries such as Malaysia and Brazil. To this end, Ghana is expected to increase productivity. To ensure this objective is achieved, Cocoa Board in March 2007 signed a 150 million US dollar term credit facility with the Royal Bank of Scotland in London. This facility is geared towards building the infrastructure that Cocoa Board will require to enhance efficiency and boost productivity. In closing, the CEO of the Ghana Cocoa Board, Mr. Isaac Osei, also had this to say. Yeah, first of all, it's a landmark because this is the first time Ghana Cocoa Board um, is accessing the international financial markets for a term facility. Uh, There's a three-year deal, one-year moratorium, 
and repayments over the ensuing uh, two years. The facility um, is going to be invested in three kinds of uh, specialized fertilizers, um, whilst at the same time ensuring that uh, the cocoa diseases and pest control program um, uh, remains on course. Um, so all these uh, factors should lead to an enhancement uh, in total production uh, throughout the country and then more uh, money for our farmers. That's number one. Uh, number two is in quality assurance. Ghana's uh, 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 beings throughout the world you know, have attracted a premium on the international uh, commodity markets and um, we have to assure that um, the quality of our cocoa remains the same. There's also a market related concern these days um, that is on the question of minimum uh, residue limits for pesticides and we want to develop a domestic capacity to be able to test for these uh, pesticides and become the first country to issue certificates of analysis uh, for every shipment that we need. Thirdly, we are thinking about investment in logistics, especially the building of a 100,000 ton capacity warehouse at uh, uh, Takra, uh, because the Western region, of course, uh, caters for 60% of our total output.